everybody. Welcome to Lump Vision. I go by the names Lump, D-Lump, or LV. It doesn't matter which one you want to call me, I'll respond to any of them. Today, we're going to do a little switch up. As a lot of you know, uh, the ones that have been subscribed for a long time, you know that every now and then I'll do a gun video. Um, I have, uh, I don't know, like four handguns. Um, and that's one of my, uh, my favorite hobbies. I go to the gun range every now and then, probably like once every other month. I would like to go once a month, but, uh, it gets pretty expensive. So I pretty much go when I can. Um, so this is kind of like an update video. Uh, I bought two handguns. I don't know. My timing is always off of when I bought them. Um, I bought the Canik TP9 SF Elite and that's this one right here. As you can see, I, uh, it's it's a stock handgun. Only thing I did was put these Talon rubberized grips on here. Um, you know that trigger safety you see, that red trigger safety, all that is stock. That's where how the gun gun comes. Um, so that's the Talon rubberized grips, and I put the um, damn I forget the name of the freaking sights, man. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll get the name of the sight. So I put a. Uh, like a yellow green high def, I guess you can call it, sight on the front with the blacked out rear. Um, it works pretty well. I, sh I shoot indoors, so I can't really, really tell how well it works. But when I'm playing around working on my sight picture and stuff like that, when the sun hits it, uh, you can really pick up these sights. So, um, yeah, but I'll I'll put that put it up there on what kind of sights they are. I forgot. I had it in my head when I was driving home. So I literally just left from the range to come home to do a little update um, and I forgot the name of the site just that quickly. But yeah, um, well, the handgun's unloaded. There's nothing in the magazine. All right, so um, yeah, so I put about, I would say six to 700 rounds through this handgun. I, today, I just spent all my time at the range today with this with this handgun. I uh, put 300 rounds down range with this. I uh, put up a couple pictures of uh, how I did. Um, I'm not the best shot. You know, I don't even think I want to be the best shot. I don't want to be like some freaking marksman. I just want to be able to put shots on target in the general uh, vicinity of, you know, the center mass area. So as long as I shoot and I'm somewhere, you probably can't see me. It looks like I'm rubbing my belly. But as long as I'm somewhere in that center mass area, I don't care if I'm here, 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 but if I'm in that center mass area, I'm totally fine with that. Um, I'm, you know, my objective is not to be a freaking marksman. I just want to be able to put shots around where they're supposed to go um, whenever I pull the trigger. So that's basically what I do. Um, I would like to be like, if I, if I become really good, cool. Like before I wanted to be like a freaking marksman. I just wanted to be great, but it's just like, uh, whatever. I just, like I said, I just want to be able to put shots center mass every single time um i usually shoot between just warming up like between five to seven yards and that's about where my shot all the shots were um today so like i said i'll put pictures up to show you what i did today but yeah like i said it's just just a quick update video um the other handgun that i bought was a taurus um uh, g2c and i don't really like that gun uh, because, like I said, I'm not the best shot in the world. So having a good trigger, having a good reset, having um, all that stuff is important to me because I'm not that good. And that aids me in being a better shooter. So I'm going to trade that gun in the Taurus G2C. I'm going to trade that in for a uh, Canik. I'm a big Canik fan. I'm going to trade that in for the Canik TP9 SF. Uh, whatever the subcompact one is. So it's essentially this gun, just smaller, 12 round capacity. Um, I went and handled it the other day. It's still, it's, it's, it's this gun, just smaller. The width and everything is just uh, smaller frame, smaller barrel, same exact gun. So I'm probably gonna go get that one. And I, I feel like I'll be pretty happy with that. But I have zero issues out of this gun here. No issues at all. Nothing with ammo. Uh, I pretty much use just brass. Um, I've used Winchester White Box. I've used, um, I've just been using this Aguila, I think it's called. I'll put a picture of that too. 
Um, I've been using a Gila ammo. It's like $65 for a box of 300. So I, that's a pretty good deal right there. I've been using that. I probably I used 600 rounds of that because I've been shooting before with the other guns with that Aguila. No problems. It's a uh, pretty clean ammo and, you know, I'm pretty accurate with it. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, that's basic. Oh yeah. No issues. I have no issues. Um, I've been using, I've used 115 grain. I've used 124 grain and I've had no issues with, uh, any type of ejection problems. And e even still, like, it's not a big deal for me for the, uh, empty shell to shoot, uh, you know, four feet out of the gun, as long as it comes out when it's supposed to, and I don't have any failure feeds or anything like that, or double feeds or anything, I'm totally fine with it. But I understand people's preferences when it comes to how they want their guns to run. But this, this has been flawless for me so far. Um, all of my mechanics have been great. I have a TP9 V2, Victor 2. Um, I have this Elite right here, and I'm planning on getting the the subcompact. So big canning fan. It's budget pistol because I don't have a bunch of money. So these guns, they work great. They look great. And the price is great. So I continue to buy canics. So yeah, this is not a long video. Just wanted to let you know that this thing is running like a champ. No issues. Um, you know, I guess I should try other ammo just to see if it eats up. Oh, Simba's up here messing with Hey, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, maybe because just in case something happens, you know, I, I would want my guns to be able to use any type of ammo and run properly, but you know, whatever I get the brass full metal jacket, 115, 124, and I shoot that. So yeah, that's it. Once again, quick update on the Canic TP9 SF Elite. It's running great. I really like this gun. It was a really good purchase for me. And uh, if you have not shot one, I go ahead and shoot one and let me know. Um, drop that in the comments. Once you go, one come back, watch the video, come back, let me know. Like, yeah, lump, I like the gun. If you have shot this gun or have this gun, please drop it in the comments and let me know how you like it or don't like it or whatever. So as always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers, old and new, and I'd like to thank everybody for coming by and watching my channel. That's it. Questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Later.